thank you for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. This is not going to be um, a short, quick type of thing tonight. Um, I'm going to take my time. Okay. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to settle in. And I hope that as you are joining, hey, <laughs> I hope that you'll click the like button, um, that you'll subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I'm posting new videos and that you will share. Can you do that right now? Just share. All right. So yes, I, I did a thing and I want to tell you all about it before we get into our recipe. Okay. Now, you can stop in and say hello. I've got my other eyes on too tonight. So I'm I can read comments, I think. Yes. Okay. Like like so. Ah. Go back, go back. Okay. Oh. All right. So I'll be able to see your comments now. All right. Um so you know November is my month, right? Thank you for loving, liking. I love you too. <laughs> um, the only thing about my setting tonight is I can't see your faces. I can't see your your um, your tags, but that's okay. Okay. I know you're here. I see you and I thank you. Um, I wanted to tell you about something that I did that's very important, especially since this is my month. It's November. Um, another trip around the old sun for me. And um, I was forced to do something for myself um, this birthday. Didn't know it. Didn't know I was going to have to do it. Um, but I'm going to tell you about it as we go throughout the show. All right. So I should. Did I say that? I'm sorry about what I said when I was hungry. Are you that person? Just so, when you get hangry, it's like, don't talk to me. Don't say nothing. Don't ask me nothing. Just feed me see more. Uh, let me know where you're watching, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Ah, okay, so let's go live with this recipe. You saw me promo it as cuttlefish, C-U-T-T-L-E, fish, and periwinkles, P-E-R-I, winkles. W-I-N-K-L-E-S. What are they? I'm going to show you right now. <laughs> Honey. Tea. No alcohol. She, she been alcohol free since last Thursday. Not this past Thursday. Since last Thursday, she been alcohol free. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Out of it. That's a blessing. I have two bottles of wine here that were just here in the house. I don't I don't even want a glass. I I don't want a glass. I'm good. All right. Cuttlefish and periwinkles. So this is your cuttlefish in in another video when I string the two together. I'll show you how I clean it. When you buy the cuttlefish, it should be already cleaned, frozen at the store. Now, just because they cleaned it, you got to take it through your own cleaning at home. So I clean it with lime juice and basil. Um, I show the process in another video, but that's going to be separate. I try to um, take away as much of that exterior as I can because it, it can toughen up. Um, but this is a really sweet in the squid octopus family, the um, 
cuttlefish. If you're on a device right now and you can look it up, it looks weird, right? But it's a big chunk of meat. It's a big chunk of meat. Um, supposedly very sweet. I've never had it, but I saw it in the store and it was a decent price. You know what else is a decent price? Periwinkles. Here's what they look like. This is all meat. Okay, all meat. Periwinkles are in the snail family. I said it. They're in the snail family. Okay, this is just excess water from my cleaning process. But um, yeah, so they come, they're like a, a sea land hybrid, mostly sea. And they come in a really hard shell, like a snail. And it's curled up. As a matter of fact, you can kind of tell that this part is up in, in the shell um, because of the way it's kind of curled. Well, when you pull the meat out with a pin, it comes out curled like this, okay? Now, if you love clam chowder like I do, then you've probably had some periwinkle in it and didn't even know it. Yeah, because it's got that clam taste texture, okay? So does the cuttlefish, all right? So you got meat on meat on meat. I'm going to get some of this excess water off. But yeah, that thing, a pack of periwinkles cost me like $3. $3. That's how cheap it is, okay? Um, it is considered an invasive species, so... You can find it just about anywhere for super cheap. Um, you'll find it in Italian cooking. You'll also find it in African cooking in soups like egusi. Egusi soup, um, sometimes you'll have some periwinkles cut up in there. All right, so we've got our cleaned um, cuttlefish and periwinkles, and we're going to start to make our curry first. All right, so I'm going to probably shake the camera a little bit because I, I want you to see what's happening. This is not a quick recipe. It's it's a boot up. <laughs> hey, cold fall night. You just turned the heater on for the first time type of meal, okay? No, I can't say it again twice. I don't remember what I said. So we're going to heat this um, pan up, my everything pan, child. I put some oil in here, just a uh, sort of neutral oil. Uh, you can use your Sugar Pearls um, herb infused extra virgin olive oils, but as you're cooking it, it's probably going to cook off some of the essence. So I would suggest what I usually keep on my um, stove top is a pepper oil that I make, but just, just a nice, light, regular oil. And I added some peppers to it. And it usually gives me a nice, tiny amount of heat, um, but still some good coverage on my pan. So we're going to, let me scoot that down. We're gonna start to saute some veggies. Now, here's what we got uh, to start our curry. That there. Welcome to the show. Hey, I'm live again. It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Hey, I love you and thank you for watching. Okay. Oh, good. All right. I took it out. I was like, that was bothering me. Okay. Now, these are the veggies that we're going to sweat in our pan uh, to get our curry started. Okay. Uh, I've got some fresh basil. Uh, one small diced Roma tomato, one half green bell pepper, half juice of a lime. lime. <laughs> We're going to take a couple of cloves of that roasted garlic. I just pulled it out like an hour and a half ago. So we'll take a couple of pieces out of there. I don't want it too, too bitey because that um, that seafood that we're using, the cuttlefish, the um, periwinkles, they're so tender and they've got their own sweetness. I don't want to ruin it by like over seasoning everything. 
I want to taste that cuttlefish. This is my first time having it. So I really want to taste, you know, what everybody's been bragging about. And we got a little red onion and some, a little sweet Vidalia. Go as much as or little as you want. I'm not going to do as much red onion, but probably all of the sweet. Okay. So here we go. Mom and dad, if you're watching, hey, <laughs> I didn't get to call you guys yet, but, um, oh, oh, that's good. That's good right there. Oh, I didn't get to call mom and dad yet, but I will after the show. Just, just give me some time. I'm going to take some time with this recipe tonight and I'm going to hold you hostage for it. Okay. Um, veggies. So let's go ahead and get those red onions in there. I suggest doing that. I'm going to wait to put the garlic in because we don't want to scorch it. Okay. Little red onion some of that bell pepper and some of that tomato. Do a rough chop on the basil. And like the garlic, we'll add it, you know, just a little bit later. We'll keep that basil kind of fresh. Lime juice, same. That'll go toward the end. So now you're, um, Gonna give these a good saute, add your salt to that, and a little cracked pepper. Hey, thank you for sharing. Love you for doing it. <laughs> Y'all, so, oh, I forgot to tell you. So when I, um, after I cleaned my cuttlefish and periwinkles, what I did was put them in this bowl, filled it with water, added a little pink salt and three cardamom seeds, pods. Just put the pods in there um, and just let it kind of marinate for about an hour. You can go more, I did. And um, then I just drained all that nice clear water off and this is what we have, okay? All right. So those are going to sweat a little, the veggies. I don't feel, I have to show you that. Like you, you don't need to see that. Okay. Right? You got it? <laughs> ah! Camera is awful tonight. That's okay. You're here. So while that's going, let me, I'm going to start cutting up this cuttlefish a little bit. So. Bear with me, but I can still talk to you while I do so. All right. So if you um if discussing like mental health and things like that is is a touchy subject for you, then this might not be your show. Okay. All right. So I did something for myself month of November. The months um usually the end of the end of September, October, early November, those tend to be months that um, are most difficult for me. Just, just navigating, just um, for one thing, um, there have been some like, trauma moments along the way and they tend to align with those same months okay not every year but every so often well last week oh uh, i don't know if this is a blessing or what no it is it is a blessing it is um last week i couldn't take any more i couldn't take any more um, you know, so often <laughs> we see people, um, that we think are operating at their best because they look okay. It looks easy. She got her lashes on, you know, she's all dolled up. Ooh, ooh, that hanger. I hate that. Ugh, focus. So <laughs> nobody would suspect, right? If, if there was ever a queen of faking it till you make it, 
Crown me, baby. Crown me. Okay, so last week I could not take any more. And um, that was the start of the reason for um, me stopping with the drinking. Like, it was, it was out of control. So, yes, cheers. I'm saying hooray. <laughs> Um, because I haven't had a drink in one week and one day since last Thursday. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I feel good. Um, it was not easy, especially to start. Oh my God. It was not, but let me tell you what it revealed. It revealed, um, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. So we've got beautifully sautéed veggies. We're going to add our curry to it. We're going to add our garlic and basil and our coconut milk. Okay, so just hold on. I'm just going to sit that right there. Um, but here's what happens. When, when you mask for so long and you run from things that you, you spent time um, patching, patching, and not just breaking all the way down, building back, okay? So when you do that, um, kind of like this infrastructure bill, child, like the roads ain't gonna fix themselves, <laughs> you know? Your mental health is not gonna fix itself. It's just not. I knew what I had to do, um, but I was forced to because I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't. You know, I'm. I kind of pride myself on um, being able to encourage others, but when it comes to me, um. Bad. One of my dearest friends told me um, last week, he said, I'm glad you stopped fighting yourself. <laughs> Say what? I was like, yeah, I do. I did. I'm just cutting the cuttlefish. I didn't sharpen these knives either. Uh, it's okay. Um, or I have. Now, when you think about it, I'm someone who has lived with to the lousiest roommate ever. <laughs> um, major depressive disorder for a long time, but I wasn't really diagnosed until like 10 years ago. And... I found something that worked for me and I was doing it and then I got comfortable and I slacked off. Does this sound familiar? Probably. I'm just kind of um, cubing these this much. You can do them in rings like calamari. I know I'm going back and forth, aren't I? <laughs> it's a skill. Um, <laughs> you can do these in rings like calamari or you can just kind of dice it. I'm scared I'm going to hurt myself. My dad is probably looking like, oh my God, that knife. You know that. <laughs> Buy me some knives and press me. All right. Don't worry, when we cook it down, it'll be tender. I'm only going to use some of the tentacles. The um, I'm not even worried about the periwinkle. The periwinkle, I'm just going to put in just like this. Um, it'll. I'm hoping it'll cook down. I don't know what it's going to do. I've never had periwinkle. Not that I know of. I've never cooked it for sure. Oh, by the way, if this is your first time watching Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, hey, how are you? You know, every, every now and then I do fun things like cooking something I've never cooked before or, you know, trying some new seafood I've never, ever had. So that's what I'm doing tonight. Don't be alarmed. She ain't lost it. But anyway, back to me. 
So I think I got to the point where I was tired of fighting myself, tired of um, just doing this loopy loop, you know? And you always back to the same old thing, like handle it. So, hold on, I got to I gotta look at you to tell you this boy. Hold on, I'm cutting this piece of this tube off. The very hardest part, I'm using some of the tentacle, not all, because there's quite a bit of cartilage around it that can be kind of tough, so I don't want that. It kind of reminds me of gooey duck a little. Oh, these are the pins. They may, are they? I don't know if I'm supposed to have it or not, but we'll, we'll cut it. If it cooks nicely, hey, you know? All right, so we got that there. All right. So, turn it back on low. So, talking, um, oh, the thing I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, I told you about how my, my friends called me out, but they celebrated me and like every single person that I told, like, I need help. I need help. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm in crisis right now and I need help. Something told me to actually reach back this time, which is good because I don't normally do that. Um, but it, it showed me that I was growing up. Um, I explained it to my dad and a few other people, like, when you're someone with uh, a, a mental health diagnosis or whatever, whatever it may be, um, it's not about, you know, people not being supportive or not wanting to help and all that. Is plenty of that for me anyway, for me. And I realize I am blessed. That's I got more than most. Okay. But I have a wonderful support system um, of family and friends. And it's, it's been amazing um, for me to be able to see that and to feel so cared for. And, um, but like I explained to my dad, you know, when you're when you're going through, yes, people are reaching out their hand, but you're in that deep water and you're too paralyzed to even reach back. It it feels drowning, <laughs> you know, you don't know what to do. Thank God, I don't know what it was. Could have been number guy. Told me to reach out reach out and I did and here's my news I have a therapist I know <laughs> it may not be a big deal to you but honey when I tell you that this is this is what works for me it's what I, I love having a coach there to like guide me through and like give me little tools along the way. That works for me. So um, through my employer, I was able to find a therapist. I requested a um, black person, African-American, didn't matter if it was male or female. I got a female black psychiatrist. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? Mm. The only the only downfall is um, if you are someone who I'm telling you this not because I'm telling on my business because I want you to know that this is okay. If you need someone to talk to, if you need an extra boost of support, go get it. Don't be embarrassed about it. Don't be ashamed of it. There's nothing wrong with black people. Hello, I'm talking to us getting therapy. Okay? I'll say it like this. 
hold on, before I say that, look, I'm, I'm gonna go back to that, okay? Put a pen in it, put a pen. Hey, my sister, I love you. You know who I'm talking to. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's go back to the pot, all right? Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got our sauteed veggies right here. What I like to do when I do my curry bowl is this. I'm going to get my um, coconut milk on them, too, but I forget. I keep saying one of these days I'm going to get me a can open instead of using that knife. Y'all still do that, too? Sure. Cut it out. All right. So, um... This was one that I blended a while back, and I just keep it in a glass jar in my cabinet where it's nice and dark. Um, but it's a turmeric base, and it's got pepper and stuff, and chow, a little garam masala, um, some cardamom, some coriander, all of that. If you need a good curry recipe, there are plenty online. But this one, um, what I'm gonna do is take a heaping tablespoon and toast it just a little with my veggies, just a little, okay? I don't want a whole lot. I don't want it overpowered. I want this fish to come through too, okay? So get that in there and let that sizzle. Let's add just a touch more oil because I wanted to kind of, kind of burn a little, not burn, burn, you know, but just sizzle around the edges, okay? So just a little there. Let it sizzle, and then we'll add our coconut milk to that. And there's something else that I made, um, tamarind paste, okay? This is a tamarind paste. I also have a <laughs> lost video that I made. It's on my phone. I'm going to produce it one day of me buying the tamarind out the store and actually bringing this and making the paste at home, okay? Very easy to make, but you add just a little of this to your curry and it tastes better than any restaurant, trust me, okay? So this is what we got here. We got a little sizzle going, okay? Ooh, I'm trying to make sure you get all the shot, boo. All of it, Ugh. okay? Crank it up. Now, while that's going just a little bit, I'm gonna take a couple of pods of this, um, garlic paste I roasted let's see get some of that one and I must let it dry out too I think two is going to be enough if I want to add more I can let's put that in there it'll start to melt and break apart once we add the uh, coconut milk and everything okay Let's just break that so nobody gets a big bite of garlic in their mouth. Okay. It already smells good and it's not even started yet. <laughs> but if you make a good curry, I stole the recipe from somebody online. If you make a good curry, you will have a good pie. I'm telling you. Okay. So now we got some sizzle going. Let's add some coconut milk. Okay, turn it up because we want it to kind of cream together, all right, which means it needs to be a baby. All right, I used about half a can of that just now, okay, just about half a can, depending on how much you want to make, you know, eyeball it, okay? So when that comes up um, and starts, you know, talking just a little bit then we'll add a little bit of our tamarind all right um oh so here's what i was saying um first of all i was if if you're someone who's not a stranger to getting help in the form of like therapy counseling honey i applaud you i do it's nothing to be ashamed of, afraid of. But I will tell you why I do believe some people are afraid. I'm going to add a little more coconut milk to this, okay? And just let it come together. Um, 
<laughs> I've heard people say, you know, I ain't let nobody play in my head. <laughs> you know, have you heard that before? You know, when they're talking about, you know, talk, talking to a therapist or something, a counselor, I ain't gonna shrink my head, whatever, get inside my head, play inside my head. And, you know, my thoughts are, you know, people play in your head all the time. They, they play in our heads through the news media, through celebrity culture. They play in our head through um, government <laughs> mandates and laws. They play in our head from the pulpit. Boom. People are always playing in our heads. Always. Oh my gosh, you can't you can't watch a movie without some plan in your head, right? People are not afraid about other people playing in their heads. They're afraid of what may come out of their head. You don't have to tell them that. Okay? Let people feel how they feel. Okay, you ain't here to convert nobody. Um but sometimes people are afraid of what will come out of their head. And to that point, what comes out don't have to be bad. What, what comes out in counseling or therapy is hardly pejorative. It, it's not coming out to punish you or anything like that. Sometimes some things are coming out to reveal some strengths in you some hidden gifts, you know, there's all sorts of stuff that comes out in counseling and therapy. It's why you ask the advice of a friend or a brother. Yeah, wise people seek good counsel, right? So that's what I did. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh. Perfect for boot up well. It's perfect. It's not too hot. We're gonna add just a little bit, maybe a tea teaspoon. We'll see. We'll start with a teaspoon of tamarind. Okay. Yeah. So to my counselor friends, my therapist friends, thank y'all. Even my friends that aren't therapists, but are, are mine. <laughs> you mine. <laughs> Thank you for, for letting me know that what I was doing was brave, even when I felt broken. Thank you. You don't have to wait for somebody to give you permission. But like I said, um, I um, I got to the point where I was forced. Like I was, mm, mm, I was isolating. Ooh, don't don't be forced to do it. Don't be forced to do it. That ain't no fun. Uh, I'm gonna start with a teaspoon of tamarind paste, okay? And stir it in, just like that. It gives our curry just a hint of sweetness to balance out the heat. I should have um, had your nose down in it while I was stirring it in. Take a look. <laughs> Take a look, honey bunny. Sorry. Shoot the cameraman, man. Okay, so now that that's going, we're gonna take our meat and put on in there. They say the best way to eat that is either to undercook it or raw. Like if you do a ceviche, I'm gonna put my basil in now too, um, or stew it. And the way we're doing it tonight is, of course, stewed. Not ready for, for it raw, I don't think. Although, if it's anything like gooey duck, it really is pretty good. 
raw. And it does have a natural sweetness. Baby, we're going to let this stew down real good. Okay. Take you some of that lime juice. It's booed up when it's um cool fall night, but with like a, a tropical vibe to it. Bay. Ooh, that meat, that um snail meat is thick. Okay. Bring this up a little bit and then we're gonna cover it. Look how beautiful our coconut curry is. Okay, we're gonna taste the flavor. My goodness. Mm. <laughs> Baby. It's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to try that meat. I'm going to take it up just a little bit. I thought about adding a little bit of creme fraiche to that just to like thicken it up a little bit so it'll really cling to my rice. Or oh, I already made the rice, honey. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't go waste your time doing that. Um, <laughs> But um, I don't know. I'll see how it comes out. Let it cook down. If you want to add, if you don't have creme fraiche and you just want to make a slurry, honey, same thing. Okay, same thing. I was just fancy. I was making stuff, educating myself, learning, um, and doing what I enjoy. Yeah. Don't wait until you're forced to sit down to do something for you. And if that means um, engaging in battle with the things you have suppressed for so long, do it. Do it. We ain't got nothing but time right now. <laughs> That's it. Number time. Um, I made the choice to do it for me because I knew what would I had an idea anyway, based on prior experience. Um, it worked before. It worked. It's, it's good for me to have that guidance. It really is. From somebody, you know, you don't always want to burden your friends and family with that. You know, they're always there, of course. You know, but... It's nice. It feels grown up. <laughs> you know, it feels grown. It's been a while since um, I had a wonderful therapist uh, about five years ago. <sighs> Amazing. And uh, she told me that she was going to retire. I don't know if she did or not, but that I saw her for like a year and three months. I loved it. All the all the layers, the peeling back, the question. I mean, it, you're constantly like just probing a little bit more and asking just one more question. So that works for me. Um, and coming up on 47 years, honey, I had to. You know, I can't allow this to just be a cycle depression that is, um, that every few years just tries to, you know, stranglehold my life. I can't. It's like weeds choking out a garden. I can't. I cannot continue to do that. None of us can. There's, I know there's something else. I know there's something else that I'm supposed to do. I know there is. And the same for you. Like, there's more. There's more to life than just, <laughs> you know, I was, I was on the hamster wheel just like work, sleep, work, sleep, work, sleep, not living a quality life, period. 
and alcohol on top of that. That was for a while. You know, I, okay. Yeah, it's it's been since last Thursday, but you know what? It's been since last Thursday. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's a start. It's a step. So now I'm finally just putting one foot in front of the other, taking steps. And I say all this to say, it's okay if you do too. That's all. You don't have to feel punished or judged. Honey, honor yourself. And as you would think I would, I would know better, do better. But sometimes we... We're the last person we give our advice to. <laughs> you know? Aren't we, though? I've got this up at a rolling boil right now. But just, just so it can reduce a little bit. And I want it to create its own thickness. I don't want to add any slurry or anything like that. Look at this. Okay, let me just show you how gorgeous. Mm. Yes, I know. Okay, now I'm just gonna um, just kind of let it simmer like that for a little bit, and we'll see. Uh, it should reduce a little bit. I'm not gonna let it reduce by half, but you know, we'll. We'll give it some time to come down a little and then create its own little gravy. Okay. All right. Let's take one more peek a doodle. Mm. Oh, no. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate you for sharing the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> if you share, you never know. Somebody, somebody from the Food Network might notice. But you know what? Even if you don't, let me just say how I'm trying, y'all. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> let me just say that um I'm just glad you stopped by. It was for you to hear this tonight, okay? I don't know your situation. I don't know nothing. All I know is we supposed to be living a quality life. And how we get there, you know, is our business and the people we care with us. Yeah, this is looking so doggone good. Mm, honey. <laughs> she just made a commercial. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't. I want to try that meat. So bad. Okay, just leave it uncovered. Still, just let it continue to roll. Oh, somebody said something. Hold on, let me find my glass. <laughs> hey. Ah. <laughs> Hey, Mo. Oh, hey, Lane. I miss you. <laughs> hey, y'all. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Hi. Yes, we got to take care. We've got to. Mm. I'm just trying, you know, just, um, just trying to be better than I was last year. You know, um, this thing is really bothering me though. This with this hanger world. <laughs> um, that's all. Just trying to, just trying to beat myself. That's when sometimes I beat a little too hard. But uh, I'm really trying to be better than I was last year. I don't know what that looks like yet. I don't know. But I know it starts with me 
taking the first step. So that's what I had to do. Mm. Mm. I know one thing, I'm going through a lot of T's and lines. <laughs> I am. I'm trying to see what if I forgot anything that's supposed to go in this recipe. I think that is it. I'm still gonna let this kind of cook down. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you back down for one second, okay? I know. I know. Jesus. Doing the most. There we go. Okay. I just want you to see how all of that. Now, you may go. You know. Um, Mm, I don't. I wouldn't eat that. I don't know what, it, honey. You done ate it before and didn't know. Yeah. You you didn't even know you was eating cuttlefish and periwinkles, squid, and snails, and puppy dogs tails. No, I'm just kidding. Never mind. Okay. So we're going to put this over some rice. I'm just. I want to see how tender this meat is. Uh oh, it went through. It went through. I do like the thickness of it. It's not too thick. I just want to taste it for salt and stuff. Let's see. Let's see where we are. Oh my lord. Oh my gosh. That right there. Oh my. Oh my. That is delicious. I I want to try a piece of the meat now. I'm I'm ready. What about you? Hmm? I am so glad that um, you allowed me. Hey, I'm over here. Yeah, sorry. I don't know, cameraman. Cameraman drunk tonight, not me. <laughs> but I'm just so glad. Um, I'm glad you allowed me to, to share a bit of my journey. Yeah. Um, There, hold on, let me let me make my plate first, cause then I can let let the rice and you know, cool down a little bit before I um, before I dive in. Okay. So a little bit of rice. Oh gosh, it's so good. Not that much. A little well in the middle, so I can get some of that gravy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Scoop the right there on top. Just a little to start. I'm still letting it cook down, cause if it's if it's a little tough, then that, that means I need to keep stewing. So let me let me try it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's good. Please be good. It looks good. Don't worry, I'll I'll dress it up and do pictures tonight before I go to bed. Clowns. Mm-hmm. That was a piece of the tentacle. It too is very tender. Okay, this is a piece of the um, cuttlefish meat. That big piece right there. Mm. Very tender. Oh my goodness. 
You could deep fry these and have you some little nuggets. I can make a sauce for it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna get some of that periwinkle. Let me get some of it. Ooh, here you go. This shrank up. Mmm. Mmm. I like the periwinkle. Oh yes, clam clam. They're both similar in texture. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. These this for my inquisitive palates. Okay. <laughs> if you have an inquisitive palate, yes, this is delicious. That meat is so tender. And the curry is not too hot. We only did what one one tablespoon? Mm. Oh yeah. Boot up, boot up. Mm-hmm. Of course, if you don't if you scared of cuttlefish and periwinkle, honey, just use whatever fish you want. You know what you could do? Use the curry recipe. Add mussels. Mm-hmm. Add some muscle. Oh my goodness. All right. I'll get pictures in a little bit. I'm gonna turn this down because the meat is cooked perfect. I don't wanna overcook it. Um, That's good. That's really good. I'm trying to think of what fish it tastes like. It don't taste like no fish. It tastes like, um, Either the gooey duck or mm. but it does have its own yeah I can see why people would eat that raw. It does have its own little sweetness down inside. It's good. Mm. We're happy. Okay. One last thing and I'm going to let you go. Mm. I'm sorry. One more time. I can probably add another small scoop of tamarind. But the sweetness is there. Maybe I shouldn't. I think it's okay. I think that's enough. I like that. We didn't add any powder spices. I think we added a little bit. I mean, other than the, the curry that I made <laughs> eons ago. Oh, we added with salt and pepper. Right? All right. So one time, I'm going to tell you about this person. This, this soul. Um, once I interviewed a young lady, a young woman named Camille Golston Bennett. Y'all know Camille. I've talked about her so much um, on this show. She is a freedom fighter, honey, down in Florence, Alabama, with Project Say Something. And you can look it up, projectsaysomething.org. So one time um, when I interviewed Camille, um, she said, I went back and listened to it like a while ago. And she said, girl, this show is healing people. I was like, girl, stop. <laughs> you know? Um, but Camille's words rang in my head. This show was healing people. Um, if it's healing you, I'm so glad. I don't, I don't even care 
if you share like what if it's healing you that's the point okay if it makes you feel good makes you smile a little makes you try something different i'm here for it but when i was especially this past week or this past month or so a couple of months I didn't feel healed. I felt fractured, you know, like I had been trying to do this patching here and there. And then, you know, I'm still going, 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 but I'm not, I'm not actually fixing the road. I'm just like patching it. So I knew that if, if the show was going to be a healing place for you, then it's show sure enough got to be a healing place for me. So that's why I shared, you know, a bit of my journey with you. I had a phone consult with um, my new therapist. <laughs> Sounds good to say that. I'm a new therapist. Um, and she's lovely. Oh, I can't wait. I'm excited. Um, and we'll see. It's just putting one foot in front of the other. I don't know if it's for you. It may not be. That's cool. But don't knock people who who want that extra boost. Okay? Get what you need. Get what you need. I am. And I am so glad that I kind of got knocked down. in order to hit the reset. So that's where I am and, and I'm grateful. And I thank you for watching. I thank you for sharing, for loving. I love you back. <laughs> Please have a wonderful weekend, okay? We're just trying to make today better than the day before, okay? Thanks for tuning in to Sugar Pearls. Hey, baby. I love you, and I hope you love me back. But even if you don't, I still love you. Bye.